last division this year. This year is only a three division roast. Next year we'll have a four division roast because we are going to yeah. division three. <laughs> Michelle Schaaf, it's time to take your seat of honor. Understand your directors, area directors are ready. Come on up. director, but since this is a roast, I can't tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say that when I was preparing for this roast and trying to find material, I did have the opportunity to watch you on YouTube for your county assessor thing that you had going on. I have to say, <laughs> you have to get better table topics. <laughs> yeah. It was so far above my head that I started to count the ahs and the ums <laughs> to keep myself going. And by the way, you had 23 ahs, 14 ums, and a couple of repeated words that I can't repeat here. <laughs> Ski season did not suffer because of Division C scheduling. Why? Because everything was done to make sure that she could go skiing. However, I will say, I was surprised when my friends reported that you were toastmastering <laughs> while you were out for skiing. <laughs> not only did you not miss a ski vacation during our Toastmasters contest season, but your dedication to filling the county coffers did not go unnoticed. <laughs> She has something going with the NRA, the CRS, the GRI. I don't know which department it is that's watching, but because we needed to have a pen to get our dignitary list, I happened to abscond with one of hers that is a county pen. And not only did I pay my county assessor bill, but I got another statement that said there's a fine, and I'm here to return with interest. So, I don't know if, I said something, if many of you know that I work with Michelle. So you can only imagine when I received a phone call on a Saturday in a voicemail, Carol, call me, I have really great news, and I thought, Oh my gosh, I got a covered parking spot. <laughs> so I called her and was expecting, you know, the, either a promotion or a covered parking spot. She goes, guess what? They need an Area C director. And I told them you'd be perfect for it. And I'm like, what? <laughs> what is that? And she goes, just a couple meetings, a couple reports, and then you're done. That's for a year. And I'm like... Sure, I'll try it. I think I can do that, fill that in. And she's, boy, I was surprised. <laughs> but I do have a little poem for you that I wrote. Director of Division C, organized as can be. Council meeting set and agendas ready to go. She's got a thing for Applebee's, though. 
motivated and enthusiastic, we all are well aware. For our club's successes, she really does care. She stepped up through the TMI leadership door, came to all of our area contests and did so much more. Support and friendship was her commitment to the crew, an opportunity to nurture our leadership skills, we thank you. As she wraps up her director role with excellence and grace, there are some big shoes to fill in Division C that I get to face. <laughs> Michelle, we are not sure what is next for you in TMI. Whatever it is, your success is sure to be sky high. So if you didn't know, you have to vote for Michelle Shave in order for her to have her job as an assessor, Clark County Assessor. One of the things that I told Michelle when I met her is, I only have a CL, I don't know how to do this. And she said, don't worry, you're just gonna do a couple of reports and it's gonna be easy, you got this. As you already know, all our meetings were at Applebee's and she is an overachiever. She creates checklists, and if you don't bring it, because she does email it to you in advance, she has extra. <laughs> she pulled me aside earlier during our spring conference, and she was like, oh, we got a lot of people here. And she did happen to brag, we got the most people here from the C Division, we even got Kyle, who's going to Washington, D.C. <laughs> Proven experience, integrity, and public service, and of course, dedication, <laughs> Michelle Shane. Radiation isn't really harmful. <laughs> Michelle is the most organized person I've known since Felix Unger. <laughs> it has to be this way, okay. Yes, but she's even more supportive. She will always have two words when things are very bleak that will make you feel better. Oh well. <laughs> In all seriousness, I want to tell you this. She was a godsend to us. She came in, and we had a, a previous director who was very stressed, a good person, but she couldn't carry it. And Michelle came in, along with Carol Campbell, our chief judge, for like two peas in a pod. <laughs> but it worked perfectly, and they got us through this year, especially Michelle. We wanted to uh, let you know she's very special to us. Michelle, I have a trophy for you. <laughs> and a token of our gratitude. Ooh, that's cool. 